if this was my last day on earth, this would be my last meal. 100% bro. What's up guys and welcome to another episode. Alright, I'm excited for this one and I'm doing an episode on what will be my last meal if this was the last day on earth for me. And I thought hard and look, don't get me wrong, I love pizzas, I love burgers, but I thought hard and I these are the three options that I found that I would literally eat if it was the last day on earth for me. So the first one would be Filipino food. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking what is Filipino food? So relax brother, kazi! Right, when I was in the Philippines, I had the best Filipino food ever. It was insane and I couldn't find it when I was back in Australia, but I found this one place that's literally literally got like five star rating. It's like the highest Filipino restaurant and I'm heading there now. The second option will be Korean fried chicken. Korean fried chicken is like the, the West meets the East. And it's fried chicken, but it's got like that Korean Asian flair to it. And it's insane, brother. So. Trust me, cuz you're gonna love it, okay? So relax, brother, cuz Third one is Greek food. I've always loved Greek food, and I'm gonna actually make some souvlaki, no, what is it? Euros, I'm gonna make some euros from scratch because I'd make the best euros ever. Homemade sauce, tzatziki, brother, so relax, all right? So I'm gonna do this today, and we're gonna head off right now. I am running a bit late, so, because I have to do a big workout, so without further ado, Let's go brothers, Kazi! Come on! Alright, we're here now. It took me forever to find a parking. But we're here now. We're at the um, Kanto restaurant, Filipino restaurant. I'm just gonna go in, alright? Hello! Good, I'm gonna have a reservation. Sorry, I'm just running a bit late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Sorry I'm late. I couldn't find a parking. Oh, it's so nice here. Right? Oh, that's so cool. Like the guitars and like the signature and stuff like that. So cool. It's just made the order. I ordered quite a bit, eh? Got all the food here. Oh my god, it's so cool. Check this out. Check this out. That one is insane. This is awesome, man. This is called the uh, Koali. Is it Koali one? Had that in the Philippines. Could find it. It was delicious. Try the sauce. Mm. Oh my god, bro. Oh, this is so good, man. Oh, check this out. Look at that. Mm. I couldn't even know. And I came back. I couldn't find this food anymore and I missed it. When you go in the Philippines, literally, when you go in the Philippines, the food there is on another level, man. Like, it would literally compete against like Thai food, Vietnamese food, even Japanese food. It's so damn good. Like, actually, in the Philippines, it's so good. And. And so literally, I reckon they should, if they brought that food here, I reckon it would just absolutely dominate. People don't know, I don't think like, um, you know us Westerners, we always, um, we always follow each other. So when someone says Thai food's awesome, we always follow each other. But sometimes you gotta like jump out the box and like, and like, um, go our own way. Like, when I went to Cambodia or Philippines, the food was so good. It was like, actually like, like just as good as Thai food. It's so, like so good. And like so, even as good as like Japanese food. It was like literally that good. Sometimes like give it a try. Like you you never you never know. Oh bro. Mm. And then this one, pork adobo. There's a pork adobo. It's like a national dish from the Philippines, eh? Absolutely delicious bro. Oh bro. Mm. Oh, I'll show you. That's pretty good, right? Mm. That's absolutely delicious. When my mum comes over, she always cooks that food. Right? <laughs> she cooks in polka dough. It's so good. This koala. Mm. 
Look at that fat on there. Oh, God. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm. I kept ordering this, ordering this when I was in the hotel. And I just couldn't stop. Like, it looks like that good. I want people to, like, like really understand like Filipino food is so good. I think there's like that stereotype where it's like it's fatty and it's just it's just boring but man when you travel when you travel to Southeast Asia bro cuz brother cuz it's on another level the food is so good even when I went to Cambodia Cambodia the food was so good it could definitely compete against Thai food even Japanese food and I'm not just saying that bro so relax cuz relax I'm just saying just give it a try and you, you won't regret it trust me because I've been there and I, I've, I've tasted it and damn it is good I'm not just saying that bro it's like really literally that good though. when I was in the Philippines I went to that Filipino restaurant and man I didn't know how many dishes like, Philippi like the Philippines has with like food and there was just so many dishes, there's like the noodles, there's the pork, there's like the, you know, similar to like Thai food and all that stuff. And, and I was just amazed, I was kind of shocked, I didn't know how, like, what variety, but when you taste it, it's like on a completely different level, bro. So, trust me, bro, bro, you gotta, brother, you gotta give it a try, calm down, relax, cousin, calm down. Just give it a try and you won't regret it, right? I'm getting so full. Oh, I think I can finish this, hey. Do you reckon I can take this home? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that alright? Oh, you're yeah, the you best. Take yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love that. Thank you. Look, my mom's Filipino. She can cook all this, but my mom's always busy, so that's what happens when you get older. When you get older, your, your mom leaves you alone because you're all grown up. <laughs> but I still, I still miss my mom. I still miss my food. Now I haven't been back here for like years. Um, the reason why I haven't been back on this beach and this pier is I had a lot of good memories, but good memories with my dog. And since he passed, I've never been able to come back here. It's just been like so, so emotional though. Because we had so many good times here. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful here, but Sometimes it's just some places that just have these memories. Even though they're good memories, it kind of just, um, kind of just like, makes you a bit emotional. Yeah, I had like so many good memories out here. Like so many. I used to come here like nearly every weekend with my dogs. And it's just, and you just, oh man, I used to have so much fun out here. But I haven't come back here for years. And as I like just chill out, out out this way where we used to come and it's just like all these memories. We haven't got any dog. <laughs> I just love my dogs. I just love dogs and I think dogs are just like a man's best friend and just there's a loyalty. And so when you lose that dog, you know, when you lose your dogs, you just, you know, it's just, I don't know, it takes a while to like, you know, mentally recover. And, and so, yeah, it's just taken years. I just haven't, this is like the first time I've come back here. It's really weird. It's beautiful though, but people will stare at you when you got a camera as well. <laughs> Everyone like stares at you. It's so funny. But I think people are just like curious. Uh, they're just like curious as to like what, um, as to like what, what, what what's the camera for? And it's just like, <laughs> you, you just look, but you try to, all you gotta do, like when you have a camera, you just gotta like, if you're trying to be a YouTuber, you just have to like ignore people. Don't like, don't look look over. Just like do your own thing and don't worry about what's happening around you. Unless someone comes up to you, you know, you're gonna, you know, you can, you know, but people usually when they come up to you, they're just wondering like, oh, are you doing a vlog or something like that? And it doesn't get that awkward. Just people are just curious, I guess. So that's, that's a good thing. But people have been really friendly when you hold a camera. Like lately, I think I've just, been in trouble once while holding camera at this one restaurant no two restaurants yeah I got in trouble so relaxing here I feel so relaxed oh. I feel so calm something about the bit the ocean that keeps you so calm it's like that breeze and that freshness you know it's beautiful 
should have come back here a long time ago, but it was just too hard, man. Far out. It was just too hard to come back. Like, man, I, I love, I miss my dogs all the time and try not get get emotional, but I just miss them every day. It doesn't matter, like, like I travel so much. I travel the world and do fun things, but no matter what, when you love, when you love something so much and they're gone, or when your dog's gone, you just, you really like it. It it destroys you like mentally. You just feel like mentally you're just broken, and it took like two months to just fully, just kind of recover. But um, but every day I don't I, I never stop thinking about them, and I never stop thinking about my dogs. Man, they were just my best friends, and you know I don't really have a lot of I don't really like being around people. You know I just I personally I don't know I'm a bit of an introvert, but I like being. Um, I like being on my own. I like doing things on my own. That's why I have my own business, and that's why I did my, um, I did my YouTube. You know, doing it on my own as well. Sometimes, you know, if you get too close, sometimes they do something bad to you, or like, you know, you're good to someone, and then they just all of a sudden they, you know, they hurt you. And it's just, I'm just sometimes I just want to be away from people. That's the truth. It's just like I feel like at peace. I like being alone. I like traveling alone. I like doing things alone. And, People always wonder, like, you know, why, you know, why don't you have a girlfriend, all that sort of stuff. But I just, I feel free. I feel free as a bird. I do whatever I want. Maybe in the future, but at the moment, it's just I'm at peace. All right, we're here now. We're at the Korean barbecue. Here now. So I'm hungry again, eh? So let's go. Let's do this. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can order it here. Oh. If you need help, just press the button. Oh, the button. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, so this is the second time I've come back here at Mekang. Um, it's called um, Mekang uh, Korean Barbecue. Mm -hmm. And the food is so damn good. Um, I've actually ordered <laughs> I've ordered a bit extra this time. <laughs> but I can't wait, man. Brother, it's going to be so damn good. Customer service here is so good. Like. It's like the best customer service, and not only that, it connects really well with the food as well. So, brother, cuz, you gotta try this. Mikak but Korean barbecue and kabocha. It is hot diggity. And I'm still hungry, I'm hungry again. <laughs> my, my, um, eating all that Filipino food, my food, my stomach has like digested it all. But that's the thing, like, when you exercise so much, um, your body tends to like, um, consume food really quick. It eats it all up. I think that's why. Is it puts it in these ones here? These babies right here. <laughs> Look how much I've ordered. Oh my god! Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. These are the side dishes: kimchi, seaweed, and it's like some sort of key, um, Korean cake. Oh, look at that, bro! Oh my god, the crab. Fried chicken, fried chicken, sweet chili. Oh my god. Bro, this is so much. Oh my god, this is so good. Man, I'm gonna start with the crab. Check this out, bro. Cuz, look at this, cuzzy. That is soft shell crab. That is like soft shell crab at its best, bro. It's like a bow. Look at that. Oh my god, it's massive. It is massive. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> it is so good. Oh my god. Bro. Brother. Cuz. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, bro, I don't know what to say. It's like so good. It's got like so much flavor. Damn. There's like this sauce in here. That's just like delicious, like a creamy mayo, sweet chili sauce. Bro. Korean food is so good. The first time I came here, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And this would be my last meal. If this was my last day on earth, this would be my last meal, 100% bro. Now check this out. This is my favorite right here. So this is the fried chicken with sweet chili. So it's like, um, as I said before, it's like 
East meets West with fried chicken, right? It's got that Asian flair, bro. I love Asian food. Oh. Mm. Cuz, brother, stop. Brother, stop. Listen to me. Listen. <laughs> it's just so good. I feel like to cry. I'll describe it to you. This fried chicken. You bite into it, it's got like the juiciness of the chicken. And you got that crunch, like a serious crunch of the batter. And then you got that sweet chili Asian flair, that Korean Asian flair, bro. It's like something you've never tried. Never, it's so different. Don't forget the rice. Me being Asian, I always eat rice, always. It's a staple, it's in our culture. It's in our culture, bro. Growing up, my mum being Filipino, rice was like, for the Westerners, rice was like bread. You have rice with everything. Even, even for breakfast. <laughs> you know, Asians, for breakfast, we, um, we eat uh, rice, like fried rice and stuff like that. It's just amazing. With the egg on top, you know, the egg. I feel like I do in Vietnam as well, in Philippines and other Asian countries. Mmm. Bro, I want to show you something else. This is another fried chicken. Oh, oh that bro. Cuz, brother. Cuz. Oh my god, this is so good as well. It's like a, um, it's without the sweet chili. But it's got that, 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 I don't know how to say it. It's like that, um, it's got that western taste, but it's just, but you can tell it's, it's got that Korean flair as well. I love kimchi. Mm. Kimchi is so good. It's like this um, fermented cabbage. And it's got like that Korean, you know, that nice Korean flair with it. I love Korean food. Mm. I could eat this. This sweet chili fried chicken every day. I don't care what anyone th says. See this? This is the actual um, seaweed. It's white seaweed. I didn't know that. I thought it was like some sort of, um, I don't know, I thought it was like mayo with something, I don't know. Mm. That's nice. It's got a good crunch to it. It's good crunch. I don't know the taste, but it just, it tastes good. It's not bad, it's really good. That's very good. That is so good. Do you like these dumplings? Like me, um, fried dim sims or something like that, little fried dumplings. Bro, cuz. Oh my god, what is inside? It's like this, um, it's got like some vegetables and a bit of meat in there. I think it's like pork. Mm, well, now that's so good. Check it out. Fried chicken bao. That's good, eh? Yeah, I know what you're thinking, brother. Jealous, eh? Look how big this is, brother. Look at that. Damn. Mm. The thing about Asian food is that they have like all these so many flavors. There's such a variety. I'm like, if you're like vegetarian, you, there'd be like some Asian dishes that are vegetarian. You know, you got meat dishes. You got like all the sorts of stuff, and that's what I love about the Asian cuisine. There's so much um, variety you can go for. They're so, um, you know, in the Asian culture, they're like so inventive. They love to invent and they're very innovative. And they just don't, they don't want to stop creating. It's just amazing, like they're very inventive and you can see it in their food. And that's what I love, especially about the Korean culture. They're very good with their food. Like their food is like so amazing. And, and some people like may have not tried, you know, Korean food or Filipino food or Cambodian food, but you know, Stop following other people, just give it a try. Like go go on your own and try things for your own and see what you think because you'll actually be surprised. It's not good to always have like fear in your life and having fear of like trying something new. You know, you know, you, you got one life, you know. Explore everything, explore different countries, explore different cultures, explore different foods. And you know, my life feels so fulfilled. 
now that I've like traveled through Southeast Asia, I've tried different foods, I've met different cultures, and like the Korean food is like one that I hadn't tried before, but I was like, because everyone was like, oh, I have Thai food or Vietnamese food or Japanese food. You know, that was a typical thing in the, in the West. And that's how we think. But when you're like, okay, there's, there's other cultures out there. There's other cuisines out there. Let's see what, what they have. And I, I, I went on my own and I haven't looked back since. I've just like never had any regrets. I've been happy. I tell all my friends, I'm like, you gotta try this Korean food. You gotta try the Cambodian food. You gotta try this Filipino food. There's just so much more and I just want people to really explore, explore and try something new that you won't regret it brother. <laughs> when you eat rice, you get full so quick. So I try to avoid eating rice. <laughs> I just eat all like the good stuff. So, mm. oh, how beautiful. I actually meet a lot of people um, when I'm holding the camera. People notice I'm doing like some sort of video and they're obviously thinking I'm doing um, social media but when I'm telling them I do YouTube they get really excited it's good to I just met like these I just met these people here at the restaurant they're so nice and they're just you know asking questions why you know am I doing a food review and and I was like yeah I do food reviews here and there but I love you know I just obviously I love doing YouTube and Food is like something I really love as well, as well as giving. No, I love giving, and they're just curious. And they, and some of them also. Some people say like they've always wanted to do a YouTube channel as well. But I think a lot of people have a fear of what people will think about you if you are holding a camera. So it is very scary. Like it's very intimidating holding a camera, walking around in public, and people start staring at you and talking. You can hear them talk about you behind the back. You don't know. You think you're talking bad, but they just trust me. They're just curious. Mikak Korean barbecue that I'm at right now, they're very proud of their food. And I believe if you're proud of your food, then show it off. Social media is the biggest platform in the world. Billions of people on social media. So these guys are smart. They want to show off their good products. And, and I'm all about that as well. And that's why I'm teaming up with them and say, hey, thank you for allowing me in, brother. Has. Go to Demcam. <laughs> What's up? All right, so I'm gonna make some Greek food and I'm also gonna make some tzatziki sauce as well. Um, it's getting dark, so I better get started quick and you're gonna watch me make everything from scratch. Let's go. Get tzatziki olive in the middle. There you go, tzatziki all done. Voila! Look, I want to try it. Let's, let's just give it a try. Come on, this go good with corn chips. If you're watching, watching the footy, corn chips, biscuits, um, sandwich, oh, anything. Literally, you can literally put tzatziki on everything, it's that good. Look, I was gonna do the euros tonight, like cook the meat, marinate the meat, and all that, but I just have no energy. I just feel so exhausted, like mentally and physically. I just, I just can't do it. I just feel like to watch Netflix or go to, I just want to feel, I just feel like to nap. I just feel like to go to sleep like right now. I'm just so tired. I'm so sorry guys, um, but I'm going to end the video now. Um, I am going to be doing a big, a very big giveaway soon, like a big giveaway. Um, and I, and I planned that for like, for a couple of weeks since the last giveaway, the 10,000 cans. And I thought of another awesome giveaway I can do. So that's something I've been planning for a while and I just got to get everything together. So um, I hope you, you stay tuned for that one because that's going to be a very big giveaway to a good cause, which I absolutely love. I love giving to charity. Helping people is, is a big thing in my life. I love helping people. I love helping animals that are in need. 
Um, just, I just love being, I just love being a good person, just trying to give back and help people that are genuinely suffering and and, and need genuine help. Um, so I, I, I do find that rewarding. And planning this, uh, these sort of things, these big giveaways, uh, uh, like the most rewarding thing in my entire life. I love doing that. So anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, until next time, have a great day and peace out. See you guys. Bye.